Hey, in this video, we're going to take a look at this product called Welp, getwelp.com. It has a big proposition to be an omni-channel, all-in-one uh, application to connect your customer support and your sales and marketing. And you'll see when I get inside that it's a little half-baked at the moment. They're still working on it. I, I might be checking this product out a little bit too early, but I do believe it's definitely one to keep an eye on. So watch the video as I walk through it, and you might want to jump in early. Who knows? There could be uh, some 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 early adopter type of benefits. Stay tuned for this one. Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video, and today I'm going to take a look at this tool called Welp. W H E L P. The website is actually getwelp.com, and I don't know a lot about this product. I mean, I, I, it came across my desk. It looks, I love the interface. I mean, it's got that nice uh, UI, uh, and it talks about customer service, which always gets my attention, and it talks about omni-channel customer service, which always gets my attention. And, and it says right here, it's a AI-based business messenger to connect, acquire, and support customers everywhere, live chat, phone, email, and social. Let's pop into features, and you'll see they seem to target customer support as well as sales and marketing. Um, they have integrations, from what I can tell, with all your channel channels that you might have for support. But they also have uh, integrations with payment gateways so that you can see what your, you know, revenue is it says here revenue per conversation and things like that so it's sales and customer service blended together and it's got a good looking dashboard from a little bit small but but from what i can see so i'm just going to jump right in this product and you're going to see it with me for the first time and we're going to take a look in and, and and see what it looks like on the inside this is the kind of product that you're not going to be able to set up completely in just a short overview video we'll see hopefully they have some nice onboarding We'll see what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up for a new account, TechSmart Boss. Let's say David, and I'm going to put in my TechSmart Boss email and a password. Let's see if it'll take this one and create a brand new account. Oh, that's my little remember. All right, check my email. So I'm going to pause this video and go ahead and do the email verification. I'll be right back. All right, so I copied the link that it wants me to click. Let's paste that in. Do our email verification, successfully confirmed. Excellent. All right, so it wants to know what kind of company I am. Let's let's see if I can just go through this app that's required. Uh, you know, I actually set up a Dialpad TechSmart Boss phone number a while back. Check out my YouTube video on Dialpad to see that. I'm gonna pause and go out and get my TechSmart Boss phone number. One second. All right, I've got that. Let me paste that in there. And we'll say we're a technology company. I'm small, just me. And I'm the founder. So let's complete our registration. And I'm going to invite people later. So maybe later. All right, so that looks like they're onboarding. And now I'm here into pricing. So this is interesting because they did not talk about pricing on their website. So this is actually the first uh, that I'm seeing there. In fact, let's go back to their website so you can kind of see what their pricing page talks about. I did not show you that at the beginning. So if we do look at pricing, it talks about multiple tiers, basic, professional, and business, and what you can do. So there's core feature CRM, there's email, you can kind of see that, there's calling and SMS, but it doesn't actually take you to pricing. So I thought that was a little bit strange. Um, but here it does. So it's $49 per user per month. I can add and remove users. Twitter costs extra as a channel. That's interesting why that particular social network costs a little bit more per month. Um, so definitely, you know, not cheap. I mean, I, we've covered a lot of products that can do some sort of live chat and communications and support with customers for a lot less. But this is omni-channel, and, and like I said, it's, it seems to be a nice tool set. So let's go ahead and start our seven-day free trial, and uh, let's see what it wants me to do here. So it does require a credit card in order to do this. Now, we've talked in the past um, that uh, I use this beautiful card called privacy.com. Now, this is U.S 
only, I believe, I don't think they've expanded past the U.S., but allows me to make a virtual digital card that I can use in these sorts of things, and I can set limits or turn that card off so that even if I have an issue canceling the trial, I, can, I won't get charged. So I'm going to go ahead and set myself up one of those cards. I'm going to fill this out, and then when we get back, we should be in the platform. So, so hold on one more second. Okay, I am in. I have a valid subscription. It's going to give me a seven-day free trial to check this out. And what's nice, I just want to point this out, right there, I can cancel. So, you know, always keep track of, of your trials and, and don't get in those troubles. All right, let's go ahead and check this platform out. Let's go. Uh, looks like I've got, uh, that's online. That's for my uh, chat, no doubt. I'll come back into that in a second. Let's start right up here in a general and see what I've got. So this is things like company name, logo, and things like that. Let's um, let's go ahead and pop a logo in there. And I'm going to blur out my little finder here as I dig and find uh, my logo. I think I have a logo on the desktop I can use. Let's see where my... Probably I didn't expect to use a logo. Here we go. Let's use our Tech Smart Boss logo in that and see if that'll work. Save. All right. Router. That sounds like if we did have automatically assign inbound conversations to a teammate or a team inbox. Excellent. We have not set up any inboxes yet, but let's click on new router. See what that looks like. So router name. Haven't set up any channels yet. So, but if we did, then this allows me to route things based on rules and let's add a rule and just see soon to be available so that's not there yet and you notice one thing I'll point out is there is no onboarding flow yet so I'm, I'm, I'm routing through this without a proper structure of setting up channels and things like that so it looks like a lot of I might have caught them a little early I might have caught them a little early before they were ready um, for me to really build this video but that's what we do here we don't quite cooperate or collaborate we do what uh we find interesting all right let's let's keep going here and see what we got save responses pretty standard you know if you're chatting you want to be able to quickly respond without having to type it custom fields that probably is related more a little bit to that crm and you know standard stuff there widgets is that going to be my chat widget or what is that going to be let's create a widget uh, and it has an endpoint. Let's actually read this. A widget is a small web application that can communicate with web using a JavaScript API. allows you to extend web by making new features. That sounds really powerful um, so that I can start to integrate and add things or maybe get pull information down into a support system or other systems. It doesn't look like it's anything we can set up today. So I'm going to keep moving. Team. We didn't invite any team. Let's create a team. I'm just going to call it support. And I'm the only member of that team. We'll just see. Uh, and it looks like they want an icon. Uh, hey, my support's happy. So we're going to give it a happy icon. And there, okay, I did make a team. Here's my team members. Just me. There's description. There's that. All right, so now let's see how we get into the actual product. And I just discovered some icons here at the bottom. So now I will say that's a strange UI. That's a strange navigation. Not what I would expect. I would expect these sort of primary functions and features to be at the top. So I worked my way down and I found them, but that was a little strange. And now at the top, I do have my profile, which is no need to really go into. Let's go ahead and go to the dashboard. There it is. So this is your primary navigation. Again, little, little, you know, a little different, um, but nothing wrong with that. So recent, I got a recent, I got a account created, and of course we haven't had any conversations or done anything yet. Now what I haven't seen yet is any of the channel integration. I'll go back and see if I missed it, but I haven't seen that yet. Let's go look in conversations. Maybe this is where we can. Uh, so here's the conversation. Ah, there it is. Set up my channels. So now we're getting into where we have channels. You'll see I've got typical chat type app, front dot app, or any of your chat tools have a similar type of column approach, your your folders, your conversations, and these would be where your messages appear. Let's set up channels and see what we have. Okay, now we're getting into the fun. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to look quickly to see customers. Let's look under these dots. 
there we go so that's where we can find more stuff but now I'm in the channel section here let's see what we could do what's that Facebook telegram I mean this is omni channel I mean they got a lot of stuff here now before we saw that some things were not done I'm wondering if all these channels are already working let's pick something like a full contact and see if it yeah, says install app let's install it yeah API key so they, they got this they got this working I think if I go to apps that takes me there yep it does let's look at Facebook and connect app I, I'm not gonna go through the Facebook whole uh, Facebook logging in and doing that at this point live chat let's do that uh, connect app channel name website chat this should be a good one and now I'm assuming that this will give me the code okay so now for every app all right I'm seeing some stuff here now you're able to configure that app I'm able to use all sorts of functions here pretty nice put my icon there I won't go do that again design my chat wizard nice let's put a little bell I don't like the bell but let's put a bell um, we'll see what else I can do messenger links what's that uh, give your website the option to contact the way that they want to that's nice smart suggestions so this looks like a uh, you know a more than normal type of, of live chat proactive messages questions language cards so it's got the best of a lot of things it looks like uh, coming soon they've got some cards that integrate with other services to pop informational things there and then there's a code to install it as I expected so that that's nice I like the way these apps look let's see what else they got uh, calendar let's see if that's gonna give me some meeting capability and let's install this app and now that doesn't seem let's go and see if that gave me anything to configure looks like maybe now I could just use that in other places doesn't necessarily tell me what that app is going to do yet maybe that's an early stage app all right let's keep moving so you see all the apps there this is the CRM area the customers so if I were to start chatting then I've got the ability to do filtering and this filter style looks very much like an intercom this is a standard type of being able to set up filters based on your customers that you've imported or chatted with and set up rules and I don't have any customers so of course I can't set up filters yet I don't see a way to necessarily save them yet and reuse them so I'm, I'm sure that's coming and then I can set up my columns that I want to see uh, reports let's see what that is nothing yet so I'm, I'm not expecting anything let's look under settings and see if that takes me that takes me back here so I think we covered it I mean you know it's the beginning if they they don't have their pricing public yet you've got to start a free trial um, it's early stage but I think it has potential because it looks like what they're spending a lot of time on is their apps to hit their message of being an omni-channel customer support and sales and marketing type of tool um, so we're gonna follow this one and see how they proceed and just like always normally we make these videos these companies reach out to me at a later point and say hey we just uh, made a big update can you update the e update the um, the video and, and, and we do those on many cases here's the email let's connect the email app so let's see what this does if I put in techsmartboss.com I says please do not close it may take a while and now I can configure I can add email so it looks like this is gonna go through their email servers not mine I'm not seeing any any gateway settings unless I go into configure here yeah there's no gateway settings but once I add in an email let's just say I do info and assign that to a specific uh, team perhaps I'm gonna get the, the SPF and the DKIM and okay here's a little bit of custom SMTP let's see if I could do that status this server will be used to send out so yeah I can I can eventually not today but looks like they will support custom SMTP at one point all right I'm gonna wrap this one up hey if you like these videos looking at new technology subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, we put them out on a regular basis and also check out techsmartboss.com and see all the other things that we're doing hey stay tuned for the next video